Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend. No way, no way. I think it is. Why? I have. I should probably get some drink. I've looped back around from being hungry to not being hungry at all. Ah, uh, there's no one there. Yeah, I have to. Hmm. There's a slight problem. I return. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh. Why are you so scared that I return? Uh, I just wasn't expecting anyone to be back for a minute, and I was mumbling to myself. I was like, oh no, they're hearing my secret I'm plans. Mumbling your dark secrets. Here's the thing, heretic. I just... <laughs> heretic. Uh, anyways. Um, no, I, I remember now that if I mute myself on Discord, it doesn't mute me in the recording. So, you're always able to hear shit. That's just... Hmm. It's not a big deal or anything. Oh, what is it? Hmm? What is it? Oh, if I mute myself on Discord, it doesn't mute me in the recording. So it's always hearing what I'm saying and doing. What you do is you you fought, you go to the key bindings for OBS. Same for the you, same thing. You put you put yeah you put it to the same exact key. Bless my. That's heart. what I did for my stuff. <laughs> Start streaming. Okay, I'm back. Recording saw, dude. Welcome back. Transition. Saw. Saw. Switch. Record. Ah, mute. Uh, if I do. Be sure it's like a toggle muter. If I do that. Oh, right, right. Push, push to mute would be the thing, right? Push to mute would be holding it down. Right. Yeah. But the one that just says mute would be. It's a toggle. Hmm. If I remember correctly. I also have to make sure that I don't get that. Back. So. Welcome back. Greetings. Uh. Hey, greetings and development. Yeah, you're tandem. Little oh. friend. Hi. Why did it stop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because mute and unmute are two different buttons on OBS. I should just make a character in the future Aha, at some point that speaks with this hugely thick Swedish accent. <laughs> thick. What does a Swedish, a very... like a super thick Swedish accent, sound like? It has a very different cadence. Mm. It's, um... Have you ever heard of someone speak English like this before? Yes. It sounds like the guy from the movie, Frozen. It, yes, he speaks with a bit of Swedish. <laughs> a bit of Swedish. Big summer blowout sale. That one got away from me. Anyways. Yes, you can say that. <laughs> Funny thing is, I have to think about that accent now that I, these days to do it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because you don't speak like that ever? No. <sighs> what is this song? Because it's so happy! 
It's from Violet oh, Evergarden. Man. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a fantastic soundtrack, Violet Evergarden. No, I'm not dissing the soundtrack. It's a great sound. Um, but I'm just surprised that like such a happy-go-lucky sounding music came from that it's anime. Because, like, she, like, the whole point of the anime is that she becomes happy. Hmm, and, fair. and stops being a fucking doll. Or becomes a doll in the name of her occupation. I still haven't watched that. I probably should. Should. Yes. Netflix. It's on a list. I have too many lists. <laughs> my current watch list is the stack of movies that my coworker gave me that are Studio Ghibli, and the only way to watch them is on my PS4. <laughs> Ghibli? All right, I'm back. I said Ghibli. Welcome back. Sod. Thank you. Uh, I apologize if you can hear me eating, but I'm sort of having my tea, so. But <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, so is, is uh, I think everyone's here. Mm. Balls. Rebecca. The silence means Snake! Now. Back. <laughs> okay. Back. Go back. Yes. Back yeah. Right. Hey. Oh no, he's playing different music. Hell yeah, time for combat. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting Abigail and her uncle. Good. It'd be a dick move, but good. So, you guys go through town and towards City Hall. Oh, like... I need to do my luck rolls. Or my important rolls. Oh, yeah, rolls. roll me 2d20s then. Important rules. They're quite important. Hey, 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 You're free to thank you, thank you. Damn! You get to live. Ooh, those are some good ass <laughs> fucking rolls! <laughs> 19 and 18, man, you were destined. Hooray! Oh, good wait, shit. what the fuck? Save oh, that for some important shit later! Uh huh. So you're having a good day. <laughs> so, uh, I, I didn't mean to make that fun. <laughs> let's get into this. You guys go to City Hall. Outside of it are Royal Guard Watchmen. Distinct from the city guard that, you know, patrols around town. The Royal Guard ones are stationed here. They work here. They stand here. They block here. Blah, 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 blah. It's a large, wide building. At initial glance, you figure probably three stories. Large steps that lead up to it. And you see traffic dies down a bit going towards this. You still see the occasional... One, two, maybe three people going up, down, stairs, etc., etc. And you guys are still a bit obvious approaching it just because of the size of your group. You guys trek up the short flight of stairs, probably like, I don't know, 20 some steps, and are greeted by this very large, I guess it isn't open air well it doesn't it has a ceiling but it's uh its front is just a series of large pillars reception area some people are sort of just hanging out here for whatever reason leaning on the pillars talking to one another there are seats here and there obviously for people for petitioners some people are waiting for either their turn their appointment or for another person and you guys see your Corey talking to one of the receptionists quite eagerly you guys like flirty eagerly? No. <laughs> Just happy. Although, I suppose if, depending on your outlook on Charlotte, one can interpret everything she does as flirty. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, so, who wants to lead the charge on this? I pushed <laughs> Samuel <laughs> forward. <laughs> I just shoved <laughs> Samuel forward a little bit. I'll step up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And the appointments will be... Right, yeah. It's... And then she sees you approach town. Um, fall... Being flanked by a friend. Oh! Hello! Uh, hello. Is uh, this a good place to uh, report our findings? She gets like a... Like a confused look at her <laughs> She gets a, a sudden smile after it. Did you track me down just to give a report? <laughs> Well, I did not do, but do it personally. It was uh, Verik who I didn't of a friend. <laughs> that is very sweet, but in technicality, we're supposed to do, do reports and file them and square them away at the exposition headquarters. 
That being said, I can certainly start writing down details right now, if you are are willing to wait. I have nothing better to do. Very well. Let me finish setting up things here. Actually, just just to the receptionist. Sir, just... just bloke. He just... just like a two-finger salute, you guys. And then... I'll nod and I'll take a step back. We can start walking. Of so, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, the governor should be free that day around that time. He should be. <clears throat> he will be. Very good. <laughs> and will the representatives of the colonial companies be present? Uh, I hope not. Hope is irrelevant. Will they or will they not? One, maybe. A second one, perhaps. I wouldn't. I don't know. One at the very least, very well. This sort of back, this sort of bureaucratic back and forth goes for a few more minutes. You guys are sort of leaned against the receptionist, large, you know, table that occupies most of the room. So sort of just chilling, waiting for Charlie to finish. Hmm. And sign there, please. Yeah, there you go. All right, Miss Charlotte, I think uh, that's it. Excellent. Have a good day. You do, ma'am. She turns the faces of you. So, mission reports. But uh, here's what uh, happens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you regurgitate the information out at her. Unless Sprite had something you actually wanted to say. Unless, unless you guys have something to omit, or any extra details you want to add. Um, like I'm no, just. No, I'll just um, point. Be, uh, you go ahead. I was gonna say I'll just like open my book since I'm. I have a journal, basically. And I'm just oh, gonna yeah. read what. Yeah, I'll read what I wrote, and at the very end, just be like, um, also, P.S. Oh, I forgot I wrote this. The chili was apparently really good. That, uh, sure is uh, about that. Didn't... But the chili I'll... was quite tasty. Mm. I shall put a footnote for that then. <laughs> like. Oh yes, there is this thing. It will... Do you have it somewhere? The 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 claw. Ah, yeah. Uh, let me just uh, that's no, it's not. Other pocket. I'm there back. it is. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I, how I do you? Also, I'm not gonna question. Don't question that. I believe. I believe you said it could do things as well. No. Yeah. Um. I'll finally find the claw and take it out. Like not like huzzah, but like kind of like just so not everyone can see it, <laughs> which <laughs> so Charlotte can. It's like. Um, she leaves and examines it. You guys are walking and talking, and she's yeah. writing this all down on a clipboard. So, from what I can tell, like I said, the um, the stone gents, as we're calling them, are seem to be made from some sort of transmutation magic. Um, from what I can gather, um, with my identify spell, um, the claw. By itself, can has enough energy in it to petrify like a rabbit, cat. <laughs> Not to. She she pauses. She stops walking and looks at you at that. A small creature, just to give you a mental image of. She small is different depending on. Whatever. Walking. <laughs> Moving on. Um. Yes. Um, and on a person. It wouldn't petrify them, but it would uh, give them a nasty wound that they would have to deal with pretty soon. Hmm. Would you be willing to part with that claw? Yeah. As long as, uh... <laughs> Could we give you some body you... parts instead? That we have? No. As long would it be possible for me to get some information back if, uh, if you find anything I haven't? Certainly. That is exactly why I want the claw. Oh, yeah. Deal. Give it some analysts or something. That will be no problem. You guys are walking through town, and you guys sort of notice that you guys are sort of uh, clearing, like, not clear as in, like, shoving out of the way, a la Varric's first wave or charm, mm -hmm. but people are just sort of making way for all of you, as you guys are reporting to Charlotte. 
<laughs> Does it feel like they're making way for us or making way for Charlotte and we're just in the wake of her? <laughs> both of you? Hmm. Both you and her? Hmm. Anything else? You guys have, like, at this point, like, have passed by Abigail's shop doing this whole recanting. Um, they spoke yes. common, did they not? I have that recorded, yes. Did you mention the necromancy? I can't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I would have mentioned that. Uh, okay. Out of game, would, would Rainy have mentioned the boat and the crack in the earth? Would that just be intrinsic to the well, I mean, sort of thing? I will leave that to Tatum, because Rainy's did inform Tatum of it. Oh, yes, now that you mentioned there was one more thing. And I'll tell her about that. What up, what up, what up? <laughs> Kitten. Tango. Oh. I think I need to attend to Tango. Hold on. Yep. Okay, <laughs> fuck. I should have done this during the break. I, he was asleep, though. You little shit. <laughs> little shit needs shit. <laughs> Kitty break. Uh, yeah, so 10 minute break. I assume that anything you have purchased, you would have purchased it while you're walking through the market cars mm -hmm. on your way to city. Hmm. Kitty. Absolutely right, can be done. Yeah. I want to buy some strawberries. Hmm. Be right back. Berries right. upon <laughs> straws. <laughs> I'm very tempted to buy like a tiny little set of armor for my mouse. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can get that though. <laughs> a very mighty mouse. Yes, a very mighty mouse. Or get like a little waistcoat or something. <laughs> I want a pack of playing cards. Ooh. Oh yeah. Then I can tell your fortune. Ooh! Oh, that'd be quite cool. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I think I forgot to buy a bedroll earlier. A what? <laughs> I forgot to buy a bedroll. Oh, a bedroll. Yeah, only got like a blanket, which doesn't help. I'm gonna get that. So no tiny waistcoat for me. So how much is a pack of cards? Uh, I guess I'll just ask Crash when he gets back. Pretty mm. cheap. I know less than a gold. <laughs> Actually, a minute. Prices are in the book, aren't they? A playing card set is five silver pieces. Okay. <laughs> Purchase a pack of cards. I mean, I had a deck on me. Actually, I think I, I bought two decks for some reason in case, like, one play, <laughs> like, a poker or something. Because you usually want more than one deck. <gasps> now we have three decks! <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what's this? What's this man's name? Emil. I would love to get some soup right now, actually. Thank you, Fred. You are welcome. I have it written down in my notes, I just didn't bother to look at it. <laughs> that you want soup? No. That's definitely not in my notes. <laughs> no, the, the <laughs> cascus, the name of that. Okay, because you, you just have, you were like, oh, thanks, Fred, for reminding me I want soup. And then you went, oh, yeah, I have that in my notes. <laughs> like, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. okay, buddy. Hey, hey. Got, got, got spice? Got spice? Got that good spice? <laughs> you spice? You spice, bro? Oh, shit! Uh... Yeah, that, that was very much like a, Oh, right, I used their product and stuff. I should probably replace that. Robin, Robin, uh, ah, uh, oh, mother. 
How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> you got like a second and you're just like, boom, nailed it in one. There's a fucking duck on it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go grab my sandwich. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, thank you. I'm sure you know what to do. Here we go. Oh, it's been like that. Right. Oh. Ooh, maybe we can ask if there's someone willing to rent out their apartment or house. Ooh, yeah. A fucking Airbnb? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell you know yeah. for a fact, any place that would is taken already. Not necessarily. Really? Hmm. Do you think Varric knows a guy who knows a guy situation? Or actually, Emil might. No. Yeah, maybe. Do we is that what the party funds go to? Paying rent? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be against it having like our own place instead of the barracks. Fuck yeah. Food, lodging, stable costs, travel costs, repair costs, dealing with dickheads cost. Mm. Sure. It's called a psychologist. It's called a or, feel or a gigolo, depending on your perspective. You motherfucker. <laughs> That would be a rent. Maybe like a couple of gold or something. Per well, person. Depends. Yeah. It, well, it really depends on who is asking and mm. you know what their context is. Who well, they're asking, yeah, location, how desperate the person is. Yeah. So, I mean, there's six of us, so there needs to be seven. Oh, seven. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, of course, yeah. Six if yeah, you gosh. exclude Varric. Yeah, no, I forgot about Varric. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like the idea. Yeah, I don't really fancy the barracks. No, no. Same, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. That's super My game. character got kicked out, so... <laughs> the barracks suck, but at the same time... Eh. <laughs> yeah. It's a bed, <laughs> as opposed to cobble pretty much pretty much i mean i could just tent it outside yeah well i mean that's what i've been doing but having a bed is nice yeah um... tanim has spent most of his life uh either sleeping in inns or taverns or in tents or roadside Camps. Mm. Yeah. I am not used to roughing it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> yeah, no, I've um I was in the slums, so fairly fairly decent with it. I'm a sheltered county. Oh are you? <laughs> yeah. I thought I would hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have a dad, uh, <laughs> but I don't want to let it. I don't want to give too much away. So matter of fact, we just jump back in. Your first thing your character says is, "I don't have a father." 
You could be like Heimdall, the Norse god of the, the bridge, you know? He has nine mothers. Hmm? Wow. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, according, to the, according to the mythology, he's the son of nine mothers. Well, I'm sure my character has a dad somewhere. He's just never met. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure 100% of the people that exist on the planet have had a father genetically. Are you sure about oh, that? Oh, no way. <laughs> Are you really sure about that? <laughs> Are you positive? <laughs> to be oh, fair, in this world, I would. In the news. Yeah. What if someone was sculpted? Mm. We're not going into mm. Greek mythology. Or. <laughs> or. Or wished into existence. I mean, whoever casts the wish, technically. Or created by a deity. Hmm. Or born from an egg because they're a dragon. Wait, no, it's not bother. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I was too busy trying to be quiet while eating a sandwich. <laughs> and failing, probably. Man, this cat is taking its time. I'm back. <laughs> oh, fucking timing! Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. You ch shit talking Tango? You like Tango? <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> Round one, the cat wins. <laughs> he wins because I'll back him up by cheating. Pulls <laughs> <laughs> out gun. Yeah, I think. I think. Alright. Mm. So, uh, you guys are uh, debriefing with Charlotte. As you guys are walking right back to the Expeditionary HQ. You guys have an easy time traversing back. Again, having your path cleared. Just by the good graces of the crowds as you guys go through them. You guys walk into the central hall of the Expeditionary HQ. It's a large space with an open floor with not really much on it, maybe some desks here and there, a couple of receptionists, sort of circular, uh, you know, donut tables, you know. But other than that, it's pretty sparse. Most of the business happens on the upper floors. Or in the wings. Charlotte walks you guys past all of it and begins going upstairs with you all in tow. Can I, like, swipe a donut on the way past? Swipe a doorknob? Donut. Donuts. Oh, donut. No, it's not donuts. I'm saying the desks, the receptionists are in like these donut shaped, like, oh, you know, large I circular. Oh, not, they're not I'm telling hungry. Me. They're not actually sitting in donuts. I'm sorry. I mean, do they have like, like a I candy jar? Like... No. At this point, it's like. 11. So, yeah. Uh, Charlotte goes through a series of, uh, I guess the best way to describe them is cubicles areas. And she hands off the paper that she was writing on to some people. Tell and like magic, bureaucracy gets rolling. And now, <laughs> Sonia, <laughs> stop and come back. So, you guys are guided further, deeper still. Further, deeper still by Charlotte. Into what essentially is a planning room, a meeting room, a conference room. This is James Bond shit. Hey, you guys are going to do some planning. It's called a certain plan, that's why. 
before I shot its steps into the, through the double doors, uh, Varric holds all of you. Like, he just like holds out like his arms like and just sort of walks you as his path and then turns on his heel and adjusts you all of you. So, remember how my cousin said she'd be seeing us later? I brought that up earlier, yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he casts a thumb over his, over his shoulder at the conference room. That's now. Hmm. I know the process because I, well, you hear things. I'm not going to be allowed to say much. They're going mm -hmm. to be appraising you guys a second. So, sounds smart. Or at least sound like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys, it might feel like an interrogation, or it might just feel like dead air that you're supposed to fill. Just give me guys a heads up. I appreciate it. Mm. Alright. Go well, them. And he turns on SEO and walks into the conference room. Oh, wait, wait. What if I play the Jeopardy soundtrack? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Wait, wait. Ah, it's not working. I'm not playing anything yet. Hold on. Got another idea though. It might be the same. Wait. Wheel of Fortune. No, not Wheel of Fortune. But you're in the right. You're in the right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Price is right. No. Who wants to be a millionaire? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn it! I get I get inspiration for getting that shit. I should it, it's fine. I'll give it. Okay, sure. Funny as shit. God damn it, this makes it so much worse. So you guys enter the room, and our, and there's open tape or open seats if you guys wish to sit at this sort of uh, oval line long table. Sitting at the opposite end of it is someone you guys are. Varric's cousin Lena, as he said when you guys first met him, she is technically all your guys' bosses. Sitting both to her left and right are a series of other uh, expeditionary officers, first waivers, as well as even a couple second waivers. Ones that you guys had to sort of listen to if they ever gave orders, which they seldom did on the way over. And then Charlotte, you never, you didn't see her write this, but she has another copy of the report that you guys gave her, even though she handed a report to someone else earlier. Triplicates. Weird. Essentially, she hands a copy over to Lena, and then Lena reads it, and sort of another uh, another two copies get handed to left and right, respectively. Triplicate. Some silent moments pass as you guys either I don't know who, who takes a seat and who's who remains standing. I'll sit. I'll sit. Sit, sit, sit. I will. Sit. I'll sit. I'll sit. Samuel. Uh, I'll stand, help me think. You may standing by the group. Very takes a seat. So, adventurers. Second waivers. Leno begins. What are your thoughts on the situation you encountered? Ill tidings? Or something to skip over. Given the theory that they were made by some manner of arcane mechanism, I would not feel ill at ease to wager on the existence of some sort of intent behind this. What that mean, I do not know, as I am new here and unaware of its political workings. That is not my, it is not my job to know such things, not yet. Hmm. 
one of the officers to her right, the sort of middle-aged woman dressed in the sort of uh, tabard filled with assorted iconography on it. I read this report and you all attempted to negotiate with the, as you report here, stone gents. <laughs> what prompted this negotiation? There's no right or wrong answer to this. We're, I'm simply curious. Why? Renis spontaneity. And also, the fact that they spoke common, we wanted to ascertain as much as we could. Perhaps uh, words could give us what fists might not, at least not initially. Hmm. Adventurers, do you believe that this is the last of them? Or do you think there's more? I do not believe either way. If, they're, if they can be made, more can be made. As long as we do not know who and why, there is always the potentiality. Out of game, how big was the boat that Rainy's found? Fishing boats. Uh, probably. I don't know how to describe it. Hmm. If I had to tell you just potential capacity, you'd probably hold like, I don't know, a bit short of a dozen people. Alright. The possibility is there. It could have had more than five people, but it probably could have been run with only five. Are you talking about the boat? Yes. It could be involved, or it could not be. It may be nothing, but it may be something. It's hard to say. There's not the the risk is answer. there. Perhaps it's a... Uh, omittance in this report, but I note that you guys didn't investigate the apparently newly formed caves crack structure, whatever you wish to designate as, nor the boat itself. Why not? Did you believe more pressing matters were at hand? Even though you Those had time on your hands? Those were not our assignment. We wanted to check in and see what is the action. We would walk in blindly to a situation we know nothing about. Perhaps you know better than us. Perhaps you know about such things as this. And perhaps that can give us an edge when we return, if we are assigned to return. Uh, if I may interject, um, only one of us in our current party is capable of prolonged um, journey into the water in the way that we found the uh, boat and the crack in the water. Um, so with only one of us being down there, it's... Oh, it's better matter of high disadvantage. Could I just, like, could I just, to not just like, actually go by ourselves. Do that now? So I could potentially go down there, if we do go again. I know a spell that can allow me to do that. Alright, well that's two of us. Yeah. Two of us now. I'm saying <laughs> before. And most of you were injured as well. Hi. Lena speaks up. That brings me to my own question, the question of your positioning. Surely you're well aware those magically inclined do not wear significant amounts of armor. There seem to be little efforts to protect your own. May I chalk that up to simple negligence? Or do you have a reason for it? We did not expect invisible assailants. Perhaps we should have. You should have expected an ambush at the very least. And ambushes tend to happen in the back. Moving on. I do have my own interjection. When we give you a mission, we're giving you a mission with as much information as we can or we believe relevant. Now. 
you come back as well and dandy and all again to report back that's all fine but there is a catch to this this mission is just a taste it's the tip of the iceberg your future missions will have you going deeper farther with less support less contact and less chance of coming back quickly and potentially less information so don't think we're holding out on information thing but i hope you guys are aware that this job means you may be going into places blind you may be going into places up shit creek without a paddle and that's your job my intent was not to imply such my intent was merely that with information and time spent here you may know make uh, what is the common word you may make connection to things in other contexts that we know nothing about we no might have in men. Hmm. simple declaration and also keep in mind that making such connections is also your job as well you have to field agents we don't do conspiracy networks we don't got no fancy tack boards with strings drawn across it well i don't personally maybe it never mind but anyways the point i'm trying to make is sometimes you gotta make those connections no offense meant one way nor the other i get that i'm just making that known understood The question remains, expeditionaries, officers, later remarks, where is this coming from? I put my next contract paycheck that it's from what's ever underneath the headland. I don't take stupid bets, officer. <laughs> All of you. Would you be okay with going back? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Nod. Yeah. So what we're now, here for. she gets a smile. You know that she's not wearing a helmet right now. I guess I will. She gets a smile. That's good. Now, I'm not stupid nor am I cruel. Not to my allies. Even though one of you may naturally be able to delve in the water for an extended periods of time, and one of you has a spell for that, I would rather you guys don't waste resources beyond natural ability doing such. When you guys depart, talk to Ember. Tell him you're all to be requisitioned one potion of water breathing each. Sans the person that can naturally breathe in the water. Bullets will be provided up to a rational amount, as are arrows, bolts, etc. Anything else you would like to requisition within reason? Some of us here have a vested interest in what's going on down there. Verik was instrumental in our survival. Is it possible to? Varric like sits up like equip him. <laughs> Is it possible to equip him with uh, uh, more? Uh, I don't know. Say resource to facilitate further such aid. Varric. Yes, ma'am. What sort of aid did you provide the t these second waivers? Fire support. A lot of healing. Would you be against? Additional healing, then? I certainly would not say no to it, ma'am. She looks between all of you. You have your own supply. So we'll supplement it. Three potions of healing. Does that sound fair? Certainly. It sounds very generous. It is not my goal with this job to make dead expeditionaries. That being said, I do like results. This, she like taps at the paper in front of her, uh, one of the copies of the report. This claw. Yes. 
Do you think you'll be needing it during the mission, or shall we hand it to people that could look into it? You say you can make some use out of it. That may be true. Uh, I will leave it to a point at the three wizards, them to decide such things, but my personal bet would be information being more valuable at this point in time. Mm. The information won't be accessible to you before you head out. I don't want to let these things have another night to potentially regroup. Mm. You'll be getting your equipment, and you'll be going. If these things are only aware, or only come out at night, perhaps a striking during the day might be to our advantage. That, that uh, reminds me, I personally have this mirror. I take out my steel mirror. Mm. It may help in seeing the reflections, but uh, I turn to our wizards of the group here. Do you have a means of uh, exposing such uh, invisible enemies at this time? Not that I can think of. Not me, no. I don't. No. I mostly attack rather than, you know, support or seeing. Even if we could, the most we could do is give one, two of us split up if we all knew the spell but we could mm -hmm. cover the whole party but like she said we shall have to resources be... oh we shall have to be creative then perhaps oil and fire might work we will find out hmm. Hmm. the um. middle-aged woman speaks up again if these beans are based on some sort of reflection would it do well to arm them with more mirrors? Why, so they can look around? That would be my intent. And lose a hand to do stuff with? If needed. <laughs> That's up to you, Expeditionaries. You guys want to constantly look around behind you with a mirror. It's up to y'all. It may be advisable for the uh, magi like to... of the... Since like they will... Have... Sorry. Go ahead. I was saying, I'd rather have it than not, you know? So at least then we can try and make use of it. I agree with that. Mm. We do settle then. One hand free. Yeah. Yeah, I only have one hand to cast anyway, so. Very well, Lena remarks. Add to the requisition that's one mirror each. Uh, I'm not sure if Ember carries mirrors. He does. We just never have any of them. Okay. So, is there anything else you guys have? Any questions, concerns, statements? So, this, so that I have a clear understanding, uh, we are to investigate the wreckage, uh, then expediently head into said cave, eliminate whatever might be the source of this disturbance. Am I correct in my understanding? Lena squints and looks to her officers. Ma'am, personally, I would recommend against the wreck. Under what grounds? It's a wreck, ma'am. I don't think they're coming from the wreck. We would have seen them by now. I say check the wreck. Mm. What purpose would that serve? Find out how many people are dead and how many people are stoned. A fair point. That is assuming the tide didn't steal some corpses, thus giving us misinformation. Yeah. Fair point. <sighs> Enough. It's up to you if you want to investigate the ship wreckage. It may behold you to better information, but be cautious with it. But you will be going inside the crack into whatever caverns are underneath that head. Alright. I'd also like to ask as well, do we have, do you have any information, because like there's two type of magic, types of magic that were used, right? I personally don't know anything about the necromancy used. Have you got any information about necromancy that I can maybe read up on before we head off? Lena looks to the older woman. 
Depends on your inquiry. Well, I mean, the type of necromancy that was used was botched, right? That's how it was described. Um, it seems to be some sort of failed ritual, maybe. Yeah. A failed um, ritual shouldn't produce anything, except something that leaves this world just as quickly as it came in. Yeah, which is why I'm really, you know, it's sort of bugging me. Maybe much. it was so, an unintended side effect? Perhaps. But I just thought, because I don't know anything about necromancy, I'd like to Fair. read up on the subject and maybe get a bit more, you know. I'm afraid no our expertise in necromancy is bringing people fully back from the brink. Not making okay. zombies or nasty side effects. Right. They are all hyenas anyway. They all have the same claw. Mm. And they seem point. to die well enough. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just if there, is like something, or something. there is something I would like you all to look into, Leona remarks. If these things, as your report mentions, as she taps the paper again, convert other beings, like your Genasi friend almost did. I want to know, how did the first one come about? If there's one, I can easily make two, then four, doubling every time. But where did the first one come from? Find that out. And if you can, put it down. As you wish. You know that. Certainly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anything else? Uh, the two guardsmen, uh, Philip and Abin, they were quite helpful. Yeah, so your report makes mention of that, and they made very competent chili. I should go visit that, that watchtower. First chili I ever had. I'm not disappointed. Mm. Terrible. Why do you bring them up? Is there a reason you bring them up? No. They were helpful. That is it. And I'm sure they will enjoy quiet watches once you end whatever is causing all this. Is there anything else? No? Um, to the matter of the claw, um, in my opinion, I'm not of the expertise to glean anything further from it. I'm sure who you have at your disposal can do much more than I can. The info is more important than mm. what's on it. The information will take time, especially against an unknown subject. Of course. The information will be given to you at a later point. But for now, I think you all recognize this capability quite well. So, I asked one last time. Expeditionaries, is there anything else? No, your time is important. So Me and Jared. Uh... You don't need my leave. She, and she just to the door behind you guys. I way. stand up, grab my chest, okay. and head out. <laughs> I forgot He's you been had carrying the chest this whole time. <laughs> I forgot you had it. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna follow him out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll bounce. And I'm also right. gonna come over and ask, what is in that chest? And many things. Tools. Trinkets. Mostly tools. Oh, I kind of thought it was a dead body or something. <laughs> there may have been a. Is your name wise? No. <laughs> oh, 
okay. Good to know. Right. Okay, I'll just continue on down the hall. I don't think your body would fit in it. Maybe if I cut it into pieces. Maybe. That's weird. <laughs> I know. More of a talk. Let's keep going. Wasn't quite expecting that much detail. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, you guys depart from the conference room. Oh, I just felt there early. I think I got it. What? Nothing talking myself, sorry. No. Pasha Sonia. Now come back. Silence. So, you guys all depart. Now, unless you guys have anything you uh, you particularly need to ask or talk to Ember about, I'm going to expedite us back to the coast. Uh, I would uh, like to, if possible, uh, make dust out of the two rubies that I got. Oh, was going to help me with, uh, uh, or Renice was going to help me uh, with a spell of theirs. What's the spell? Uh, continual flame requires 50 gold pieces worth of ruby dust. That's right. And uh, the intent was to cast a continual flame on both of my uh, short swords. Is that a concentration spell? Ooh. It is not. It lasts until un until dispelled. Interesting. What happens if the weapons are put in water? <laughs> Here, hold on. Remember, if it doesn't say uh, it consumes it, then you don't have to get another 50 gold piece ruby every time. It does consume it. It does consume it. Does it? Okay. Not smothered or quenched. So specifically, it's fine. Hmm. It creates no heat and doesn't use. So it's just, so it just turns something into a torch. It's a fake. It's a it's a fake fire torch that doesn't go out. So I could sheath them and then draw them. Okay. It doesn't actually do any damage. No, it's mm -hmm. just light source. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Yeah, Ember greets you all warmly, and at your request, he grabs three assistants and tells them to go smash the hell out of those rubies. <laughs> they oh, duly and diligently follow his orders. Slightly fearfully. <laughs> Only slightly, though. Oh. You guys get your requisitions, so add all of you to your inventory. One potion of water. Mm -hmm. I believe it lasts either 30 minutes or an hour, but let me double check. It's a potion. It lasts for eternity. Yeah, um, tell you wish. Potion of water breathing, here we go. It lasts one hour. Uh, like a... Are there mirrors that we can add, or is that just type it in? I'll just check. <laughs> just type it into the bottom inventory area. Yeah, that's that's right. Oh, okay, cool. Solution of water breathing, and then mirror. Uh, medic Merrick gets distributed three potions of healing. Yeah, and we all have a mirror because, sure, and you so have a mirror. Yeah. One hand mirror. Okay. I think you guys are good. Anything else? Should be it. Alright. So, fast forward yourselves. You guys get uh, provided your previous cart. Charlotte seeing you guys off. She remarks that this is very reminiscent, and congrats on a job well done. Here's for another one. I am looking oh. forward to hearing your report a second time. Is that an offer for a drink? <laughs> Keep watching slightly and looks down at her cupboard. Perhaps when I'm not busy. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, also, I forgot to ask, did we get paid for the last job? Wasn't it like 200 each or some shit? 200 each. Okay, I'm adding that. You guys will have gotten paid at the time of 
put, acquisition. We also yes. put 60 each into the, the party fund. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys agreed on the 30% party fund oh, thing. Yeah. So, so you have 140 gold for your for your own use. So if you want, you can use my chest for the remainder. If you want to do something else, we can. Ah, uh, yes, your your, <laughs> your ever present chest. Chest of many things. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. It's heavy as fuck. I'm not encumbered. <laughs> mm -hmm. Noted. Just tie it around our ankles, that's how we get down to the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to drink the potion! I still have the gem! <laughs> I, punch, I punched in all the weights and I'm currently fine. According to the sheet. I, I don't care much about encumbrance of this, it's like it's immensely ridiculous. But, uh... Good. Yeah. So. You guys... Go off. And still on their shifts is Abbott for, for that. You guys don't really say hi to them, but they do wave at you from the top of their tower. <laughs> oh, I wave back. Hey. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Hello! What's up? Can I wink and like do a little finger gun? There's like a 0% chance you're gonna be able to see a wink at this distance. Well, at that uh, height, maybe. She has like the obvious like head motion with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Minor illusion, a giant head to wink. <laughs> 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 you entered the big head code for D&D. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Anyway, so you guys get, return back to the coastline. 